Hey everyone! In this video, we're going to learn how to create videos from images using WAN 2.2 i2VA14B. Not only that, we'll also use the model to extend existing videos. So, about the model, it was developed by Alibaba, and it uses a mixture of experts' architecture, just like the T2VA14B model we talked about in another video. This model has a high-noise expert and a low-noise expert. To run this model, we'll be using WAN GP, and also, for faster generation, we'll be using Lightning LoRa's. If you don't have the LoRa's, the download link is in the description. When you open the link, you'll see there are two LoRa's. One is the high noise model, which is made for the high noise expert, and the other LoRa is the low noise model, made for the low noise expert. So, use the download buttons to get these LoRa's. After downloading, let's see where we need to put the LoRa's in WAN GP. So, open the downloads folder. After downloading the LoRa's, I recommend renaming them, especially if you watched my previous video about T2V and you have the Lightning LoRa's for T2V, which had similar names. I renamed the LoRa's but kept high noise and low noise in their names to make sure I avoid confusion later. So, select both LoRa's and cut them. Then, open the main WAN GP folder. Then again, open the LoRa's folder. Paste the files there. Now, let's switch to WAN GP, Let's close the unnecessary tabs. In the model selection option, let's choose WAN 2.2. Then, select the image 2 video 14B option. Here, we have some presets that can be used for video generation. If you use one of these lightning presets, it applies some settings and also downloads lightning LoRa's for generation. But since I am interested in showing you the manual way, let's skip this. Then, let's scroll down. First, we are going to look at the option called Start Video with Image. Then, under Images as Starting Points, let's choose an image. So, I am going to choose this image of a lady playing with her child. Click Open. Then, in the Prompts field, we need to type the animation we want. So, I am going to type a woman playing with her child. Now, let's scroll down. Under Category, we can choose a resolution. Right now, the model supports 480p and 720p video. If your computer can handle 720p, you can choose that. I will be using 480p. Then, under Resolution Budget, let's choose the 9 by 16 vertical format, because I am using a portrait image. If you are using an image that is landscape, then you can choose the 16 by 9 landscape format. In my case, let's choose the 9 by 16 vertical format. Next, number of frames. The model is trained to create 16 FPS videos, and the best total frame count is 81. However, because WANGP has a sliding window feature, we can choose more frames, which means we can create 10, 20, or 30 second videos. But for now, I will be creating a five second video, so let's keep 81 as the number of frames. Later, I will show you how to extend an existing video. Next, number of inference steps. We are going to use the lightning LoRa's, so let's set the inference steps to four. Then let's go to the advanced mode. For the seed, we will use negative one, which means random values for each generation. For guidance phases, we will keep the current option. Next, for the model guidance switch threshold, let's keep the default value. Then, for guidance and guidance two, we will use a CFG value of one. The first guidance is for the high noise expert, and the second guidance is for the low noise expert. The sampler we will be using is UniPC, and we will set the shift scale to a value of five. Then, let's go to the LoRa's tab. In activated LoRa's, first select the high noise LoRa, then select the low noise LoRa. After that, in LoRa's multipliers, let's type 1 semicolon 0, then put a space and type 0 semicolon 1. For even faster generation, we could use the step skipping option. However, I am going to skip that. If we click on these three dots, we will get a sliding window option. If you don't know about this option, let me simplify it. Here, we can see an option called sliding window size, which is related to how many frames the model should process in one generation. The default value is 129, which means the model should generate 129 frames in one generation. For example, when you try to generate a video that has 500 frames, instead of trying to generate all the frames at once, WAN GP will split the task into several generations. When we use the sliding window size of 129, the model will only generate 129 frames in each generation. Then, after finishing every generation, WAN GP will stitch all generated outputs into one video. The sliding window is used when your number of frames is higher than the sliding window size. Because I am using 81 frames, if I click the Generate button, 
WAN GP will not use the sliding window feature, as 81 is lower than the current sliding window size. So, whenever you want to create longer videos and your computer cannot handle 129 frames in one generation, you should lower the value. For example, you can try 100, 81, or lower. As I said before, the sliding window feature is the reason you can create long videos with the WAN 2.2 i2v model. Now, let's scroll up and click the Generate button and wait for the result. The generation is completed. It took around six minutes. Now, let's play the video to see the result. As you can see here, the result is pretty good. And guys, we can extend this video from 5 seconds to 10 seconds. Let's see how to do that. So, click on the Continue Last Video option on the left. This time, we could change the prompt to add more animation, but I am going to use the previous prompt. And for the number of frames, we'll use 81. That will give us an extra 5 seconds, so in total, we'll get a 10-second video as output. For the other options, we will be using the previous settings. So, let's click on the Generate button and see the result. The generation is finished. It took around 6 minutes. Let's play the video and see the result. Okay, the last generated video is the second one, so let's click on it. Now, let's play the video. As you can see, the video is 10 seconds long, and the result is pretty nice. However, there are some small motion differences between the first video clip and the second video clip. Overall, it is a good video. So what about extending a video that was shot in real life or maybe a video you created with another AI tool? Let's see how to do that. First, click on the Continue Video option next to Start Video with Image. Then, under Video to Continue, click on Click to Upload. A file browser will come up. Let's choose this video of a lady. It is a three second video and we are going to add five seconds extra. So we are going to make her look at the camera. In the prompts field, let's type a woman smiling and looking at the camera. Under resolution budget, I will select the 16 by nine landscape format. Then for number of frames, as I said before, we are going to add five seconds extra. So we will use 81 frames. If we wanted to add 10 seconds extra, we could increase the number of frames to around 161. Anyway, Let's choose 81. For the other options, we will use the previous settings. Now let's scroll up and click on Generate, then wait for the result. The generation is completed and it took around six minutes. Let's play the video and see the result. As you can see here, she is looking at the camera and smiling at us. So like this, we can extend any video using this model. If the generation is bad, improve your prompts and then try another generation. That's all. What do you think about this video? Please let me know in the comment section. See you soon with another video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel.